Hello, my name is Daniel Kremers. I'm heading the Chair of Computer Vision and Artificial Intelligence at the Technical University of Munich, and I'm one of the coordinators of the Munich Center for Machine Learning. On November 9, 1989, I was preparing for my high school graduation, and when the Berlin Wall fell, I had to think of a wonderful and fascinating trip through Eastern Germany that I was allowed to do earlier that same year. As a child, I did not have a clear profession in mind, far from it. I was not the typical kid that insisted it wanted to be a fireman or a police officer, no. But from early childhood on, I've always felt a strong desire to understand the world we live in, the objects that make up our world, their properties, and how we perceive them through our senses, how we can model the world around us in order to predict its evolution over time. My studies of physics and mathematics have provided me the skill set to do this modeling. And today I spend much of my effort teaching computers to reproduce this amazing capacity of humans to sense their environment, to understand their environment, and to predict its evolution over time. So in some sense, yes, I have been fortunate to follow my dreams. My research breaks the wall to 3D computer vision. I develop methods and algorithms that enable computers to reconstruct and understand the 3D world we live in from cameras. See, the way our computers reconstruct the world is much like a little kid that tries to assemble a model of the world from little Lego blocks. And while for each Lego block, you basically just have two alternatives of either placing the block or not placing the block, we all know from playing with Lego that if you have a large number of Lego blocks, you can, all, you can construct almost infinitely many structures. And while that is a big fascination uh, for people playing with Legos, it creates a major headache to our computer. Because our computer has to figure out which of all of these combinations is the best one. And it has to do so efficiently because there's just too many to try all of them. We achieved a major breakthrough. We were able to prove that our algorithm computes provably optimal reconstructions. That means that our computer can determine the best Lego block configuration for a given set of images without trying every single combination. The algorithms we've developed enable computers to recover from cameras reconstructions of our world at unprecedented precision and robustness. What you see in the video behind me are reconstructions of a rope jumping girl filmed from 16 synchronized cameras. And note how precisely we can reconstruct the rope that is barely visible in the camera images. Three D computer vision has endless applications ranging from sports analysis over medical imaging and augmented reality, all the way to autonomous driving. We all wonder when the self-driving cars will hit our roads, but few people realize that the key to making this a reality is to break the wall to 3D computer vision. This is what will enable the car to reconstruct its environment, as you see in the video behind me, to understand and identify the obstacles to determine suitable trajectories and bring us through traffic safely. While we are now capable of faithfully reconstructing the world and even creating semantic reconstructions, uh, telling us what objects we're looking at, be it pedestrians or cyclists or cars or buildings, we are still very far from being able to predict the future. Now, predicting the future is arguably one of the most important skills that humans have. The better I can predict what the lion in front of me will do, the longer I will live. When I drive down the street as a human and the ball rolls in front of my car, then I will expect a child to come running after it. But how can we teach a machine all this world knowledge so that it can make the same predictions in order to avoid accidents and save lives? Well, my daughter is 10 years old, and when I bring her to bed every night, she insists that I tell her about my work. And so I get into talking, 
and she's fascinated by the many open challenges on the road to making machines perceive and understand the way we humans do. And I can tell you, we would be chatting all night if my wife didn't come in every single time to remind us that we are well beyond bedtime.